dear students hope you are doing fine welcome to today's session of software engineering myself is sampat kumar today we are going to discuss about uh, software project management and this is going to be a topic in unit number 5 this is going to be course outcome after learning this topic and this is going to be agenda of my presentation first i'm going to tell you what is software estimation and then we are going to discuss about what are all the different steps in software estimation there are four different steps software size estimation effort estimation time estimation and cost estimation we are going to discuss all these uh, estimation steps in detail after that we are going to discuss about project estimation techniques and we are going to discuss three estimation techniques namely loc fp based estimation make and buy decision estimation estimation is the process of finding an estimate or approximation which is a value that can be used for some purpose even if the data may be incomplete uncertain or unstable for an effective management accurate estimation of various measurement is must with correct estimation managers can manage and control the project more effectively and efficiently estimation determines how much money effort resources and time it will take to build a specific system or product estimation is based on past data or experience available documents or knowledge assumptions and identified risk there are four basic steps in software project estimation they are estimate the size of the development product estimate the effort in person month or person hours estimate the schedule in calendar months estimate the project cost in agreed currency let us see each and every step in detail software size estimation historically the most common software sizing methodology has been counting the number of lines written in the application source estimation in terms of kilo lines of code or by calculating the number of functional points in the software loc depends upon coding practices and functional points vary according to the user or software requirement next one effort estimation as the name suggests this tells us how much effort we need to put to complete the software in this thing manager estimates personal requirement and manpower requirement to do this software size should be known which can be derived from manager's experience organization's historical data of standard formulas next one time estimation as the name suggests we will estimate total time required to complete the software to do this software task is divided into smaller task activities or events the task are scheduled on day to day basis or in calendar months the sum of time required to complete all the task in hours or days is the total time invested to complete the project next one cost estimation as the name suggest we will estimate total cost which is finance needed to complete the project this is the most difficult estimation of all since it depends on more estimates than any other for estimating the project cost it is required to consider size of the software software quality hardware additional software or tools licenses etc skilled personnel with task specific skills travel involved communication training and support time to complete the project and many other things next one project estimation techniques estimation of the 
size of software is an essential part of software project management. It helps the project manager to further predict the effort and time which will be needed to build the project. Various measures are used in project size estimation. Some of these are lines of code, functional point, make by decisions. Next one, lines of code. As the name suggests, the LOC counts total number of lines of source code in a project. The size is estimated by comparing it with the existing system of same kind. The experts used it to predict required size of various components of software and then add them to get the total size. It has its own advantages and disadvantages. Advantages are universally accepted and it is used in many models like Kokomo. Estimation is closer, closer to developer's perspective. It is simple to use and disadvantages are different programming languages contain different number of lines. No proper industry standard exists for this technique. It is difficult to estimate the size using this technique in early stages of project. Next one, an example for LOC based estimation. For example, these are all the function and respective estimator lines of code. User interface has estimated 2300 lines of code. 2D generation geometrical analysis has estimated of 5300 lines of code. Likewise, there are many functions. And total estimated lines of code is 33,350. Next one, function points. Function points are a unit measure for software, much like an hour is to measuring time, miles are to measuring distance, or Celsius is to measure temperature. Functional points are an ordinal measure, much like other measures such as kilometer, Fahrenheit, hertz, and so on and so forth. Next one, make by decision. It is often more cost effective to acquire rather than to develop a software. Managers have many acquisition options. Software may be purchased or licensed of the self. Full experience or partial experience software components may be acquired and integrated to meet specific needs. Software may be custom built by an outside contractor to meet the purchaser's specifications. Make by decision can be made based on following conditions. Will the software product are available sooner than internally developed software? Will the cost of acquisition plus cost of customization can be less than the cost of developing software internally? Will the cost of outside support, example a maintenance contract, will be less than the cost of internal support? These are all the references I used for creating this presentation. If you have any doubt, please comment below. Thank you.